Welcome to or Welcome to Orange. <laughs> Welcome to Ferrito Studios. Today we're going to look at the Orange Micro Dark and see if it's headphone output, which is an emulated output or DI, uh, Orange call it a cab sim. See if it's any good. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Right, the Orange Micro Dark. It has a headphone output, which you can use for headphones. Very clever. Also, you could use it as a DI, so you can plug a jack lead into it and run it straight into your desk or into your computer. And it's, they call it a cab sim, and it's supposed to simulate a 4x12 cab. I have been having a, a little play around with this just to get the levels uh, before doing the video. I do think it sounds a bit thin. But however, I would like to say it is this that we use in all my band rehearsals. So my band, we're called The Pony Never Stops. Check us out on YouTube and every guitar you hear is this. Uh, and the reason we use this is we've got an electronic drum kit, we DI the bass, DI the guitar. So it's sort of a silent rehearsal. It makes it just, you know, everyone's through headphones, you've all got a perfect mix. Just nice, because we're sort of a studio band now. We've, we've stopped gigging. So I thought, well, I'll get one of these in my studio. So I've got the same setup. So I'm gonna be using my pedal board today, which I've got quite a few pedals, not tons, but I've got a tuner. Everyone needs a tuner. I've got a Tube Screamer, uh, Tone City Mandragora, TC Electronic Spark, Boss DS1, Tone City Golden Plexi. This amp doesn't have reverb, so all the reverb you're gonna hear is coming through a TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb pedal. I've got a Boss DD3 delay pedal, which I'm not gonna use. There's also a, a wah, and I'm not gonna use that. So I'm just gonna use the amp sound mainly, some gain from the amp, the reverb from the Hall of Fame pedal the whole way through, and I'll try a few other pedals, some of the game pedals, just to give you an idea of different sounds. So let's go clean. If you've seen my review of the Orange Micro Dark, uh, you'll remember that one of my favorite clean sounds was 474, so volume on four, shape on seven, gain on four, and that's pretty clean. If you turn the gain all the way down on this, no sound comes out, so you have to have a bit of gain. So we'll go four, so it's gonna be fairly clean, and it should sound like this. To my ears, it does sound a bit thin. It's missing a lot of the low end. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. If you're practicing on your own, it, it doesn't sound as fantastic as using a two by 12 cab, I just think, but a two by 12 cab is just the best sound imaginable in my opinion. Um, but in a band mix, you're probably gonna EQ that low end out anyway, because the bass and the kick from the drum kit will uh, fill that space. So in rehearsal, I don't notice that it sounds thin at all. So if practicing on your own might not sound that great. If you've got a backing track, I don't think you, it will matter at all. I'm just gonna try it with some gain. I'm gonna turn the gain up to about seven. Okay, I'm gonna roll the volume back a bit as well. This is volume on about two and a half, shape on seven, gain on about eight. Go and neck pick up still. I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> actually sounds really good. I've turned the volume down to one, shape still on seven, gain on full, and it sounds like this.
Okay, I think it sounds better with gain at about eight. On 10, it just feels a, a bit messy. Oh, it doesn't sound awful, but um, just think it doesn't sound that fantastic. Yeah, gain on about eight. And to give you an idea of what the shape does, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it back down to 474, so four volume, four on the gain, and shape on seven. If I turn the shape the whole way down, because I think it's, I think it's tone. I should have read the manual, I haven't. Halfway. Sounds great. And on full. Even that sounds great. One thing I'm gonna do is uh, turn the volume down a bit, gain up to about eight, and just give you a bit of a lead idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the shape on seven, so. Sounds all right. I do think on this, it may be better to put the reverbs and delays through the effects loop. I am assuming they still work. Um, I'll try that in a minute to see, well, see if the effects loop works. It's got one, so I don't see why it wouldn't. Right, I'm just gonna try it with a few pedals. Right, I'm gonna go back to four, seven, four. So volume on four, shape on seven, gain on four. Putting this tube screamer on. I'm gonna play the same riff from the start, just so you got a comparison. <laughs> really takes pedals well. And a uh, Tube Screamer sort of notoriously kicks a load of the bass out of the mix. So if, it's, if you think it sounds thin, it's gonna be the Tube Screamer. Um, I'm gonna do the same with the DS1, so Boss DS1. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds okay. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Tone City Golden Plexi, which is just a full fat drive pedal, really. <laughs>
that sounds fantastic. Takes pedals incredibly well, um, but I knew that because I use pedals at rehearsal and I don't use the gain. Well, I obviously have the gain on a bit. Um, it'd be interesting to know what settings I actually use in the studio because I have absolutely no idea. Uh, just walk in, flick it on, plug my board in and never actually look at it. Right, we're going to try the effects loop. I'm going to run the reverb through the effects loop because oddly I think the Hall of Fame sounds great when it's on clean. So we've got this. But on some of those drives it wasn't sounding that great and I'm not quite sure why so I'm going to run it through the effects loop and see how that sounds. I've just got level and decay at 12 o'clock so straight in the middle. Um, got it on whole reverb, short. Yeah, let's try it. And now with the reverb and the effects loop, it sounds like this. That sounds so much better, I should have done that originally. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try it with the Tube Screamer because that's, to my ears, when it started to sound a bit messy. <laughs> sounds so much better. Right, DS1. Just sounds so much better. Golden Plexi. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> run all reverbs and probably delays through the effects loop. Just sounds better. And if you haven't got any uh, gain pedals, then just use the gain on the amp because it sounds absolutely brilliant. I'd say up to about eight, ten's fine, but no, this is none of those pedals. We've just got a bit of reverb. <laughs> fantastic what a fantastic sounding amp it, it can sound a little bit thin but it's not really a problem it's going to be in a mix most of the time in any real situation um, I think they're about 150 pounds new I paid 80 quid off eBay absolute bargain that is so cheap yeah definitely get one please like subscribe comment let me know what you think let me know if you've got one let me know if I missed anything in the review because I can always do another video and do other bits um, yeah Thanks for watching. Also, the backing track is all recorded on the Orange Micro Dark. Not using the DI, just using the amp. Check out that video too.